Hello everybody, so uh, in this video, today's video, we're gonna change the um, brakes, brake pads and brake discs to this Ford Focus um, MK1 from 2003, I guess, is this one? Uh, <laughs> Ford Focus MK1 2003 model, um, and actually, I've ordered all hella pagid uh, brake discs and um, also brake pads and uh, I'm really curious uh, how they're gonna work uh, they got actually pretty uh, slowly in Romania it took 11 days since I played uh, nine days since I placed the order to receive the parts but um, yeah let's do it nineteen millimeter for the wheels before jacking up the car. So, uh, we'll start with the front of the car. I just pre-opened the nuts holding the wheel a little bit. Now we're ju gonna jack up the car, take down the wheel and see uh, what's behind the wheel. Okay. Alright, the disc is completely worn. As you can see, you can see it with your eyes. You don't, you don't even need to measure it. You can see how bad it is, and also the brake pads are worn. So yeah, we're gonna change them all. Starting by uh, unclipping this here, and then uh, we're gonna open these two uh, bolts holding the caliper, which are hidden behind this uh, this cap, this rubber cap. We've got one here, and then we've got one down below. If you can see down below, there's another one. We'll put some WD-40 just for everything to uh, open nice and easy. So this clip, you simply grab it with a flat head screwdriver and open it. Then we can proceed with these uh, two, I guess, uh, yeah, Allen bolts, six probably, six millimeter Allen bolts that hold the caliper in its place. Before taking out the caliper, it's a good idea to compress the piston back in it. And before compressing, you should come here and uh, open uh, the reservoir that holds the brake liquid. Also, it's a good chance to, good timing to actually check the lever inside. Maybe we need to take this out of here, yeah. Actually, the level it's pretty low. We have to put some liquid back there. So after you open the uh, cap from above, underneath the hood, uh, come here and with a flat screwdriver between the disc and the uh, old uh, plate pad, actually brake pad, just do like this until you press all the way back the piston into the caliper. We'll actually do with some big pliers uh, after we'll take out. Ooh, didn't expect that. Okay, so uh, now we can continue with the two Allen bolts from behind here. And we need the. And the second one from down below. Okay, this pad, you just push it out like that. Ha! There were hella before as well. Okay, and this one, you just grab it. I mean, you need to pull this out from here. Okay, and then the other one from here. Okay, and now just grab towards you. And this is how you put the new one back as well. But first we will compress all the way back the caliper. All the way back. You see how it enters? Yeah, that's back. Now we can take down the old disc. Just comes out. Clean a little bit here. Now 
now can come with the new disc so we clean the area for a little bit come with the new pads remember how they got in right this one was in here by pressing it simply pressing it in the piston okay and the other one as we said first slide them up here okay put the butterfly behind all the way back yep bolt all the way back I can put back the caliper hopefully it will fit the disc yes it fits okay just make sure that the pads are coming at your place and yeah finally we'll have to let the butterfly here like this okay all good so far now we can uh, put back the allen bolts down here up here I mean and make sure that they're well fitted on the position One up done, don't forget to put back the rubber caps protecting the allen bolts. Okay, just by pressing them. Both of them allen bolts are tightened, caps are back, so we are basically ready to put back the wheel and uh, yeah, let's, let's do that take the wheel and uh, this will also hold your uh, brake disc at its place so don't mind if it's doing like this you'll catch it now with the four uh, wheel bolts and yeah after you just catch the, the wheel back then uh, yeah, make sure everything gets tightened and uh, you can lower your car and uh, go to the back of the car and continue with the rear so let's move to the back of the car after this. Moving to the rear axle. All right. We need to take down the handbrake lever first. I'm gonna use some pliers to actually compress this and then take this out you have a spring down here which we will take by hand or using some pliers start putting some WD-40 uh, here and on this bolt and on this bolt because we're actually gonna open these two bolts it's a 13 millimeter outside and here inside it's a 15 which we need to hold it as a counter with a fixed wrench But first take the spring oh, ouch, out of here without broken it. Okay. Okay, so try compressing uh, your hand brake lever all the way uh, up like this. So you could easily take out or it's supposed to come out a little bit easy. Da, no se mișcă, mă, ăsta. Of course, if your handbrake lever is pulled all the way in the car, it will be super hard. So make sure your handbrake lever it's not pulled all the way in your car. So then it will be just a little bit easier. That's it. Alright, so we're gonna use this 15 here and then the 13 in the back after you double D, 40 them a little bit. Yep, this is 
one bolt and then go for the upper one right here this way the caliper will go out and then you need a special press to put back the uh, piston inside of the caliper I'm gonna show you how to use it okay so as you can see piston it's all the way out so I'm just I just VWD 40 a little bit on it uh, Okay, uh, yeah, then we have to take this one out in order to take out the disc. So we're gonna have here, um, I believe a 15 or, let's check, oh, no, actually they're 13 as well. Okay, so there's the second 13 holding the caliper support down here we may want to take care of it next <sighs> easy okay so these are the, this the caliper support which we're gonna clean real good and now we can check if we can take out the disc, but for the disc we also have this, uh, this you have this uh, safety clip here, and we're just gonna straighten two or three tits, uh, teeth <laughs> tits out of it, so, and then it should come out. <sighs> yeah, make sure you clean his caliper support and looks nice okay now we have the special tool for taking this out So we soaked the disc, the old disc in uh, WD-40 because it then came out even though I hit with the hammer pretty hard in it. And until then we're gonna press this piston back and for the rear uh, for the rear wheels you're gonna need this tool otherwise it's impossible to press it back so yeah I just uh, set it in without this head because otherwise it was too, uh, this piece with this piece it was too high and uh, I couldn't actually uh, put this plate here which is um, basically uh, which helps you press down this so now uh, I just turn it and then as you can see it turns and it it, it presses down so this is how uh, I will put it and actually I will take the, the bit from here it's probably a 17 and I'm gonna use that because it's easier And now that we make a little bit of space, uh, maybe we can put this head and this will help because it will actually catch in the piston. So yeah, let's try and do that. This is how you put back the, the piston in, as you can see it's all the way back and now we can proceed uh, to take out the disc and uh, put everything back guys.
Yeah, so after heating multiple times, the old disc came out. Now we can clean with a wire brush really good here where the new one will come. Wheel bearing doesn't have any problem. If you're here, you're gonna, you wanna want to check the wheel bearing as well. You can make like that and check that it's okay. Nice new disc. Okay, put back in place. This clamp on. And then straighten back the teeth towards the thread here. It goes by threading in. Okay. Alright, this gets back in its place. We can continue with uh, pulling back the caliper support after you cleaned it a little bit and also uh, with a rag and with WD 40, with brush wire, with whatever you want. So these two 13 uh, millimeters coming in the back, holding the caliper support. Okay, one up. You can use a torque wrench, 55 Newton meters for these, and 35 Newton meter for the other two holding the caliper on the caliper support. So, yeah, so 55 Newton meters. Yep, there we go. Now we can proceed with the new. Uh, rear wheel uh, brake pads. I can see they're all the same, so we will have this glue back here, I guess, right? To help us uh, hold the pads on the caliper. Okay, so uh, we put the pads on their place. We took down this sticker. Uh, they're, they're getting sticky, I guess. And now we can come back with uh, caliper. And we try to catch it in its place. Press back these, uh, these, and uh, just then go ahead and. Yep, that's it. back the screws put the lower one as well pads have these back springs so you will have to press a little bit bring it to the position and then put in the bolt holding the caliper yes just like this Hop. Exactly, it's on. Now, tighten back these two, and uh, yeah, also put back the uh, handbrake lever, which probably would have been a good idea to put back before actually putting everything back. Okay, now I can compress this back, and uh, yeah, obviously try to put back the uh, handbrake lever in its place okay so finally we did manage to put back the handbrake uh, lever here on this and now the final step is to put back the spring from down here back now yeah that, that down here yeah, you're gonna see it has a special place there so you're gonna figure it out so yeah, this is going to be uh, with the uh, rear rear wheel then. So yeah, don't forget to close your uh, and check again the the liquid lever 
the hydraulic liquid level underneath your hood and then uh, that's about everything uh, to know regarding the brake discs and brake pads for this Ford Focus MK1 thanks for watching sorry for my Russian English I heard some comments that my English is Russian uh, I'm gonna try to improve it uh, with each video uh, but you until then please like share comment ask questions as much as you can and uh, enjoy watching guys see you in the next one